Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss Oxygen Palm. What is this drug Oxygen Palm? Here, if we observe the drug name, we can identify the suffix palm, which indicates that this drug is a benzodiazepine. Interestingly, Oxygen Palm is the metabolite of many of the benzodiazepines like Digipalm, Prazipalm, and Temazepam. All these are long acting benzodiazepines. These long acting benzodiazepines, when they are metabolized by hydroxylation, they can produce one of the drug Oxygen Palm. So, Oxygen Palm is the active metabolite of long acting benzodiazepines. Here we can identify the suffix OX, which can be remembered as OH group since Oxygen Palm is having a OH group at third position. Since it is a 3 hydroxy derivative, this drug is somewhat polar in nature. So, it is easily water soluble. Since this drug is water soluble, it can be easily excreted within the urine. That's why Oxygen Palm is one of the short acting benzodiazepine. Even Oxygen Palm is a metabolite of long acting benzodiazepines, but still this drug is active and it can be used in the treatment of anxiety disorders. So, this drug is available as a capsule form at different strengths such as 10 mg, 15 mg and 30 mg. Then what is the clinical indication of this drug? Just like other benzodiazepines, Oxygen Palm is again used for the management of anxiety and associated symptoms. So, Oxygen Palm can reduce the anxiety, reduce the agitation in the patients, it can also reduce the irritability and even it can induce the sleep. That's why it can be used in the treatment of insomnia. Apart from these clinical indications, this drug can also be used in the management of symptoms associated with alcohol withdrawal. So, in such patients, because of withdrawal of alcohol, they may have the feeling of anxiety, tension, irritability and craving for the alcohol. All these symptoms can be controlled by Oxygen Palm. So, today in this video, we are going to discuss how this Oxygen Palm acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. So, first of all, let us see how this drug acts. Within the CNS, GABA A receptors are expressed, which are the pentameric in nature made up of 5 subunits, and among them, alpha, beta, gamma subunits are mostly predominant. These GABA A receptors are inotropic in nature, that means they are made up of ion channels. Under resting conditions, these ion channels are closed. In order to activate these ion channels, GABA is required, which is an inhibitory amino acid transmitter within the CNS. So, when the GABA ergic transmission increases, it produces a CNS inhibition, which reduces the anxiety, irritability, tension, and agitation. But in order to increase the action of GABA, we can use one of the benzodiazepine Oxygen Palm. Oxygen Palm is a benzodiazepine receptor agonist. It can bind to one of the benzodiazepine binding site that is located in between alpha and gamma subunits of GABA A receptors. When Oxygen Palm binds to this location, it produces some conformational change, which promotes the binding of GABA to the GABA A receptors. Now, two molecules of GABA can bind to this receptor in between alpha and beta subunits. This promotes further conformational change and removal of block, leading to opening of chloride channels. So, chloride can enter into the membrane, which produces hyperpolarization. Because chloride is a negative ion, it can produce a hyperpolarization, leading to inhibitory effect on the membrane. In this way, Oxygen Palm can increase the action of GABA thereby it can increase the inhibitory effect of GABA on the central neurons. When this GABA ergic transmission is increased, it reduces the neuronal excitation leading to decreased anxiety, decreased agitation, irritability. At the same time, it can also increase the sedation and sleep induction. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of Oxygen Palm is that this drug should not be withdrawn suddenly. Because on sudden withdrawal of Oxygen Palm, it can produce a group of effects commonly known as withdrawal effects. These withdrawal effects are quite opposite to the effects of Oxygen Palm. 
otherwise they are just similar to the symptoms of anxiety disorder so on sudden withdrawal of oxygen it can increase the insomnia lack of sleep it can increase the anxiety even it can use the seizures because oxygen pump can reduce the seizure tendency so when this drug is suddenly withdrawn it can increase the seizure induction and even it can increase the tension and irritability along with these symptoms sudden withdrawal of oxygen pump can also produce some muscle pains so in order to avoid these withdrawal effects use of oxygen pump should not be suddenly stopped particularly when this drug is at high dose the dose of the drug should be slowly reduced in order to avoid withdrawal effects and the important precaution is that oxypam can induce the sedation because of this sedation it can produce some drowsiness and dizziness which is more important when this oxypam is combined with other centrally acting drugs for instance opiates are one of the important drugs which again produce significant sedation so when they are combined with oxypam they can produce severe sedation which should be avoided addition of opiates with oxypam may lead to severe respiratory depression because opiates can further reduce the respiratory function leading to severe respiratory depression that's why oxypam should be carefully combined with many of the centrally acting drugs which produce cns depression not only the opiates antipsychotics can also produce sedation otherwise antihistamines can produce sedation so these drugs should be carefully combined with oxypam to avoid any respiratory complications next important precaution is in the pregnant women oxypam should be carefully given in these people because this drug can cross the placental barrier and it can reach into the fetus so in the pregnant women if oxypam is used during the pregnancy the drug can be supplied into the fetus which may lead to few of the side effects in the neonates after the delivery so within the neonates because of action of benzodiazepines they can have neonatal sedation dizziness drowsiness which may also lead to some respiratory depression so this is a fatal condition that's why oxypam should be carefully used in the pregnant women and sometimes when the supply of oxypam is not sufficient to the fetus it may lead to few of the withdrawal effects resulting in neonatal restlessness irritability anxiety and fearfulness so when this oxypam is used during the pregnancy it can produce either sedative effects of benzodiazepines otherwise it can produce withdrawal effects of benzodiazepines that's why it should be avoided during the pregnancy otherwise it should be carefully used during the pregnancy next important precaution is in the elders again oxypam should be carefully used in the elders because it can produce some impairment of memory resulting in amnesia loss of memory and it can also produce some confusion altered mental state even this drug can produce some motor disturbances resulting in muscle incoordination similarly oxypam can also produce some hypotension resulting in the decreased blood pressure particularly in the elders so in the elders with age greater than 65 years this drug should be carefully used now let us see the side effects of this drug within the first week of the treatment oxypam can produce various side effects like drowsiness dizziness sedation and increased vertigo reeling sensation it can also produce some headache and confusion similarly few of the other common side effects that can be observed with the oxypam may include skin rashes it can produce some skin eruptions skin blisters even it can produce some slurred speech weakness and tremor in the patients few of the rare side effects can also be observed with the oxypam particularly this drug can produce ataxia loss of balance because of motor incoordination and even it can produce some leukopenia and hepatic impairment resulting in development of any jaundice like conditions can be produced by oxypam but these are the rare side effects that, that are observed only in few of the people now let us the chemical nature of this drug so this is the structure of oxypam we can simply observe the benzodiazepine ring system let us give the numbering we can start the numbering from this nitrogen this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now simply it is a benzodiazepine with nitrogens at first and fourth position so it is a 1 4 benzodiazepine and it is having a ketone group at the second position so we can write this as 1 4 benzodiazepine 2 ohm then if we see the attachment seventh portion chlorine group is present so seven chloro 
third position hydroxyl group is present three hydroxy this hydroxyl group is responsible for polarity of the structure leading to short duration of action and at the fifth position it is like the phenyl ring so five phenyl saturation is present at first and third position so one three dihydro that is a complete name of oxazi palm how it is given this drug is available as a capsule and the dose of the drug depends on the type of clinical indication for mild to moderate anxiety disorders it can be used at a starting dose of 10 to 15 mg given 3 to 4 times daily but for severe anxiety disorders the dose can be increased starting from 15 to 30 mg given 3 to 4 times daily for the management of alcohol withdrawal this drug can be given again at a dose of 15 to 30 mg given 3 to 4 times daily so that's all about this drug oxazepam which is a short acting benzodiazepine this drug is a active metabolite of many of the long acting benzodiazepines like dizepam prazepam tamazepam but being a polar metabolite this drug is a short acting benzodiazepine this drug can be used for the treatment of mild to moderate anxiety disorders as well as severe anxiety disorders and it can also be used to control the symptoms associated with alcohol withdrawal but this drug should be carefully given in the pregnant women as it can produce some neonatal side effects similarly it should be carefully given in the elders because of any motor incoordination and impairment of memory sedation drowsiness and dizziness are the important side effects of this drug so that's all about this drug oxazepam that's for today hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video